A recent survey conducted by the NCAA itself reveals college athletes are dealing with exhaustion, anxiety, and depression nearly twice as much now than before the pandemic began. Aside from the impacts of COVID-19, pressures from success, scholarships, and yes, even sponsorships have helped lead to a mental health crisis in college sports. First pitch. Houstonian Nicole Mendez, a two-time NCAA softball champion and an Olympian, has reached the highest levels of her sport. Me, Nicole Mendez. And she knows it is not enough. As athletes, you know you will never be perfect but you will die trying to climb that hill to reach perfection. The last part of Nicole's statement is tragically true. Several NCAA athletes have died by suicide in 2022, including former James Madison catcher Lauren Burnett, who Mendez played against with Oklahoma in last year's Women's College World Series. Girls, these athletes, these people, on college campuses are struggling. I wish I could say that I was surprised that we're seeing more of it. Kirsten Collins is a licensed mental health professional. As a sports performance consultant with the Institute of Sports Performance here in Houston, she works with athletes in all sports at all levels, including current student athletes at HBU. Access that the public has to a collegiate student athlete, which let's be honest, is an 18, 19, 20 year old kid who has been thrown into independence, extra responsibility and elite sports for the first time in their whole life, um, has grown exponentially. Collins, who swam collegiately for the University of Texas, admits she dealt with her own mental health challenges as a student athlete. I didn't know what to call what I was struggling with because no one was talking about it. Mendez had a similar experience while in school at the beginning of her sophomore year. I was coming off a national championship. I was Big 12 freshman of the year. I led the team in batting average. I think I was overwhelmed by my own personal expectations. It took a really long time to break down and to open up. Mendez is proud of the progress she's made on her mental health journey, noting visits with counselors, psychologists, and her inner circle have helped. These are critical resources Collins says every athlete should be able to access. If we're taking a proactive approach, it means that preparation for the new demands as a student athlete and routine care as a part of being a student athlete before there's a major issue or injury. Because like treating physical injuries, mental health is part of making sure your body is ready to perform at the highest level. In order to be the best, mentally, you have to be functioning at 100%. That survey we mentioned moments ago shows less than half of female athletes feel mental health is a priority for their athletic department. The NCAA Constitution mandates each school create an environment that reinforces the need for and encourages the availability of resources for physical and mental health concerns within athletics. I'm Adam Winkler, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.